So sometimes you'll be given an integral set up in one set of coordinates and you need to figure out how to set it up in terms of another set of coordinates. So, so we'll look at this one right here. This one's not too bad. Um, it's the integral of x squared plus y squared and the dz part goes from root x squared plus y squared up to two. And then the dy goes from minus this root one minus x squared to positive the root one minus x squared. And then the last part dx goes from x equals minus one to x equals one. Okay, so we're gonna set this one up in cylindrical because as it is right now, it looks like a god-awful dog's breakfast, right? I mean, who wants to mess with this? So let's take a look at it. So from the fact that we have a dz integral first between z equals something that looks like an r to something else, and this looks like an r, it seems like that the natural choice of coordinates is setting it up in, uh, whoops, um, in cylindrical, with x and y being the, uh, the polar part. Okay, so there's our first observation. And now we need to kind of figure out like, okay, so what's going on with, with this integral? So remember, since this is a, a dz, dz integral in the inside, these are gonna be equations with respect to z. So this is, we're going from z equals two, oh, sorry, we're going from z equals square root of x squared plus y squared up to z equals two. So that tells us uh, something because the, the bottom part here is entirely non-negative. So that means that we're going from uh, something, so here's, I'm just gonna skip, this is the plane z equals zero. And then up here, this is the plane uh, z equals two. Everything li lives between those two surfaces to, to begin with. Um, then we have the, the bottom bound of integration telling us z equals r. That one, we can do a little sketch and go, okay, so what does that look like? If I've got r going this way and I've got z going this way, then it's this 45 degree angle line, and then I spin it, and so I'm gonna get a cone. Okay, so I've got a cone that goes like that. So up at the top, we've got a circle of radius two in this plane up here. And then we look at the next part over here. So this bottom one right here tells us we're going from, uh, whoops, y equals negative root one minus x squared up to y equals positive root one minus x squared. And so from squaring both sides of this equation, we see that that's the unit circle. So it's not actually a circle of radius two. So we are inside, like, so this, this whole integration takes place over this unit circle down here in, in the, uh, the bottom plane. So that means that we're actually constrained to some region like this. And so you have to imagine what would it look like if we intersected that green cylinder with that cone? And the, the answer is we would get this short sort of pencil shaped region. All right, so there's the solid that we're interested in. Okay, now I always recommend going through this procedure of like trying to figure out what is your region, get to be friends with your region before trying to set it up the other way. Um, no matter how simple or straightforward it looks like, because there's quite often little tricks that come out when, or little subtleties rather, I should say, that come out when, when you set up the problem. So let's see. So it looks like doing dz first is, is still the thing to do. This one's radially symmetric. And if we imagine like a line piercing it like this, as, as we do a dz integration going upwards, we're first gonna hit somewhere down here on this, this uh, conical uh, surface. Oh, here, I don't know how to do it. There we go, much better. Um, and then when, when we leave, we're gonna be leaving through this uh, disc up at the top at some corresponding point up above. Okay, so um, we have those equations. If we look, we see, oh, we've got z equals cone up to z equals plane. So that's telling us exactly how to set this thing up. So we go from z equals cone up to z equals uh, plane.
plane. And then we've got our integrand, r squared. And this is going to happen. Uh, yeah, so where is this going to happen? Well, if we once again do the little thing and say, OK, so imagine yourself way up above. Oops, wrong pen, sorry. Way up above, looking downward on all creation. Then this is going to um, project to this plane down here in the z equals 0. That's the shadow that's going to be cast by this thing after we integrate out in the dz direction. So we need to just set up that unit circle. So we're going to go from r equals 1, uh, sorry, r equals 0 to r equals 1. And then this is going to go from theta equals 0 to theta equals equals 2 pi. And so we started with uh, dz, and then we did dr, and then we did d theta. And there we have it. And you thought I forgot the Jacobian, but I didn't. There's a Jacobian. There we go. All right. That's how you set it up.